All right, now I have all my assets, internal and external, these tractor beam ones. Um, I can put them in my folder, these different tractor beam references in my assets folder. That's why we have it. So in case it's not working out, I can always pull something else. And I built internal assets. I created my own for the church roof. And these are called animation cycles, right? The, the roof glowing or not glowing. It's all of these that I can kind of cycle through to make it fade in and fade out. And the, the roof rotating, rotating up, rotating down. So these are all the assets I need to understand. Let's see, the church roof, I need to have the intact one open. Okay, very good. Now I need my character assets. Like if I look at my storyboard, my character needs to come in this way, introduce, shuffle, and then the setting starts to change. So I've got all the setting change stuff, but then the beam's gonna suck my character in. So I also need to show my character being sucked into the beam. So first, first things first, make sure you're saved. I'm gonna use my merged creature. I'm gonna turn off, here, let's make that yellow. These are all part of the creature, the orange and the yellow. Turn off the talons and the creature behind the water tower, and instead just use the one on top, right? So what's the problem with this? Well, the problem is he doesn't have any feet, right? They're behind the water tower too. That's where the talons come in. But with this merged layer, make a duplicate of him, my merged creature, I can put him off frame. So what's the first thing I want to see of my character? Maybe his talons coming in just like that. And then if I want, I can do edit puppet warp so that his talons just don't look like a, a flat thing. This is a little dramatic, but I can animate them a little bit so that his talons are kind of coming in, coming in hot at a tilt. Okay, then I hit return. Oh, but I don't want his tail in there yet, so let's pull that out of there. Okay, so that's the first frame. Then I'm going to duplicate Command-J. We do a lot of Command-J for animating. And then I'm going to turn off the layer behind. And then I do Edit, Puppet Warp. And I'm going to change it a little bit. Each talon is going to move a little bit. Because they're each independent digits, even the ones off of the frame. Right? And then hit return. But also the whole creature is going to move a little bit. So it's not just going to be from, from this to this. That's how the talons are moving. But it's also going to be that the creature moves a little bit in. But that talon looks kind of messed up. <laughs> so I'm going to duplicate again. Say edit puppet warp. I'm going to move this talon back. Remember, wherever you anchor matters. And then I can just deal with the big movements now, like the wings starting to come in. And I like that he's so big, but it's, it's going to be funny that a lot of this animating is off of the frame. And his tail is going to start to come in a little bit now. And I think I actually don't want the tongue yet. So I'm going to erase that from this asset.
And if I'm, re I'm trying to get you not obsessed with details because this is low resolution, but if I want to do some internal clone stamping, I can. It's always good practice. And just fix that up. All right, so now where do I want him? So that's where he was. I want him down to here now. Make a duplicate. Puppet warp. This is a movement cycle. Now wave his tail back a little bit with his wings. He's going to stretch down. There we go. Oh, want to apply that puppet warp, then want to move him down. Okay, now this time I want him in front of the water tower. So that's what's tricky. Where is that water tower? It's up there. In fact, all of these merged creature layers I can move in front of the water tower because they're all above it. The only time I want him behind the water tower is when he's landed and his tail is, is behind. Right. So I go from this. So let's just see how it works. That, to that, to that, to that. Let me see how his talons are overlapping the water tower. Okay, good. Let's keep it going. Duplicate, edit, puppet warp. The big movements, the big, big movements. I could always go back in and do more in-betweens, you know, duplicate and do an in-between movement if I think it's too strong. I'm going to be animating the... Um, oh, that was kind of nice. I'm going to be animating the atmosphere around it a little bit. Let's let's do more of that tail though. All right. Okay. Good. So I've got the character movement. You see how the tails off the frame? And then it's going to settle back and stick out its tongue for this. This one. With the talons on. Yeah, so I think that will work. It's a little clunky, but it's a, it's a GIF animation. We can handle it. Okay, next... I take this one, which is my merged creature, right? And I'm going to do it above the talons. And now this creature is going to start getting sucked into the uh, tractor beam. So let's turn that on just so I know the path. Let's save my work. And now I'm going to duplicate the merged creature and then puppet warp. So it's the most fun way. I can start to have him uh, flap his wings first and maybe have his tail go in a little bit. Or tail go up a little bit. And I actually meant his tongue. So I'm going to push his tongue back. Out like that. Have him rear up a little bit. Have this wing come down. That tail come back a little bit more. Let's 
put move a tiny bit. Okay, like that. And so you can always check what the movement's going to do. Now, duplicate. Puppet warp. This is all the hard work kind of envisioning the changes you want. It's a little it makes a little bit more sense once we set it all up and start bringing frames over. Now I'm going to start kind of shrinking it in. He's going to get his uh, back foot there kind of sucked off. It's going to be hovering a little bit. I'm going to animate his tongue back a little bit more. Of course, that's going to move his head a little. Like that. And now he's going to start to rotate. Duplicate that, edit, puppet warp. Now I'm just thinking of it as a regular rotation first. Like that. It's going to be fun to see how this works. And now just to speed it up, I can almost do kind of a straight transformation. Command T, I'm going to start shrinking him a little bit. And moving and rotating. And then puppet warping. There we go. Be starting to kind of pin this wing a little bit closer to the body and get that tongue to go in a little. Okay, so we've got a lot, a lot of movement happening here. So from here to here to here to here. And now it's going to move pretty fast. So then I just shrink it, rotate it. A little bit more. Let's move that wing, move the tail. It's going to kind of compress. And I'm going to get rid of that tongue. Flare out the wing. You just want to make sure you have enough of a movement between each. That's quite a big movement there. Duplicate it, transform it, shrink it a little bit more, maybe start to warp it so it starts to look like it's getting sucked and changed in size. And then I'm just going to do that from then on. Duplicate. Always duplicate so you're working from the last step. Shrink it, warp it. So it feels like it's getting kind of sucked down the drain. <laughs> Duplicate that, maybe go a little bit faster. And now I can start erasing it as it starts to disappear into the church, like so.